Yeah. Oh, God. My first thought was that was a big swarm of bees. I was like, oh, God, we pissed off some bees. What you want to see is you want to make sure the moisture is right by just squeezing it and seeing it slowly expand out like that. If it doesn't, if it doesn't expand, it's too moist. But it starts to crack as you squeeze it, it's too dry. And that way you can tell. And then you can see the difference in the leaf, how the color is different depending on the face versus the rib side. The thing is, <laughs> give it a smell. It has a much cleaner smell at this point. All right, guys, so basically what they say, you know, before they start to take out the leaf really the nice food, they put this thing to 30 to 40 Fahrenheit degree in order to uh, to dry out the vein of the leaf. And after that, they throw water in the floor and they use those takes a cooler in order to, uh, for them, you know, to take out the leaf and add the cooler. Right, to add moisture, basically, right. is what ends up happening. So they first, they first, again, it depends on the barn. Most barns don't have coolers like this. It's right after you said don't touch your this is, It's too expensive. So this is not typical. Typically what ends up happening is they typically use the charcoal to do the, the rib dry. And then what they end up doing is they can't wait on spreading water on the floor because they don't have the way of moving the air around. They typically they just use misters and they atomize it using those pump sprayers to get the extra moisture introduced.